upload the SVG file. So click the Upload button and then click Upload Image. Now click the Browse button and navigate to the location of the SVG file. Click to select the file, then click the Open button. You can type in tags if you'd like. and click the Save button. Now select the image and insert it. Right now it's grouped, so the first thing we want to do is ungroup it. So with the object still selected, click the Ungroup button and for a while, let's hide the score. So if we click like this, you can see the score lines. So let's hide those because we don't need them right now. You can add text to this or go find an image in Design Space. So let's do maybe flowers. Eh, I, just for the demo, let's pick this one. And we can shrink the size. And if you'd like, you can add text. And change the font. Move that closer together. Make it a little smaller. And if you'd like, you can change the color. Maybe green. Okay. So once you have your text and artwork on, oh, maybe you want this down here too. So let's select both of these and group them. Then right click again and say duplicate. And now I'm holding the shift key when I rotate and it'll make it snap to 45 degree angles. And now we can just put this down here. Too much. So once we have it all designed the way we want, now what you want to do is select everything by drawing a marquee box around it and then click the flatten. And what that's going to do is it's going to tell it to print out the lines and the artwork and the text and then cut out around the edge of the teapot. Now that the print and cut is ready, let's make the score lines visible again. And currently they're behind the teapot image. So let's bring it to front by going to the Arrange menu and selecting Move Forward, or Move to Front is better. Okay, now we want to tell these to score. So under Line Type, select Score. Okay, now to keep the score lines with the print and cut, we want to select everything and attach it by clicking the Attach button. Okay, now this is ready to make. So you can just click the Make It button and tell it how many you want to do.